Yes, uh, Daryl, Daryl, I'll tell you one thing. Daryl, Daryl, I'll tell you one thing. See, Daryl, first of all, with the greatest of respect, please understand, you're talking about India, the world's largest democracy. We are one of the world's largest economies and the world's largest armies. So I think, I if you don't mind my saying this directly to you, I think this is a rather patronizing approach. Allow me to complete. I know you won't like to hear this. It's a rather patronizing approach where you assume that you have direct control over India's foreign policy. You don't. I said it yesterday on my program on numerous occasions when it came to India's national security. America has stood against India. Okay? You are not proving to be dependable. I can take a bet with you, Daryl. I can take a bet with you. I'm not questioning your personal intentions that if China does to Taiwan what the Russians are doing to Ukraine, the Americans will not lift a finger at this point of time. I am, on the contrary, very, very practical. I am saying that Russia is provoking. I am saying the West cannot say they don't provoke. And before I bring in, yes, I will come to you, Professor Beckley. I'll just say one thing. You mentioned history. I am saying don't let the matter boil and boil and boil and boil and boil. And please, I am just saying don't add fuel to the fire by giving stinger missiles, by giving weapons. Well by standing by standing on the edge of the amphitheater at some point at some point please someone like you who's involved in arms control please look at the bigger picture you know i i you 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 don't realize this uh, daryl maybe maybe you don't understand my perspective professor beckley but i think you almost pushed the world into a massive confrontation when you killed iranian general qasim soleimani and nine by violating international law did you predict how they would respond did, did, what, did, what did America do, what the CIA do in 1953 when they tried to destabilize the government of Iran? Do you remember what you did then? You yes, are, you are playing by the I, same blueprint. Are, you know, I, what, what did you I do with Gaddafi? You no, no, what did you do with Gaddafi? Points. The point is, but, the point is, the point is, the point is, see, sir, the point is, allow me, wait, no, no, allow me. Now, you don't want to hear me, you see, because I disagree with you and because I'm putting together a very solid argument to counter yours. I'm saying, sir, there's a threat hanging all over the world. And I, I'm, I, I'm not going to go into a blame game saying you did this in the past, that in the past. Of course, the Americans know what they did in the past. But I want to remind the Americans that when your president, you, whether you like him or not, flew down to Singapore to shake hands with Kim, who you've been caricaturing as the dictator of Korea, the American media first was curious and then it applauded. Said, wow, fantastic. Look at the great generosity of our government. We're even talking to Kim. This is not Kim. This is Putin. It's a far greater threat. I'm just saying, let's get practical. Over to Professor Beckley and I...